Good morning and welcome to the first 2020 edition of the week ahead in our new offices at 128 State Street here in Augusta. We're very excited and pleased to be here. The legislature has returned. Last week was the first day of the second uh, special session of the 129th legislature. Uh, committees are up and meeting. Uh, according to Megan, there are about 120 bills that have already been printed out of the roughly 200 that Legislative Council let in. Um, they're expected to be more, plus the governor has her own set of administrative right. bills, administration bills, that she'll be putting forth um, in the coming weeks. So on top of the 400 odd carryovers we had, it's going to be a busy session. There are a lot of oh, yes. important <laughs> issues coming up. And they start, some of them start this week, although my issue area is quiet. Megan, I know you've got some stuff this week. Education started meeting last week, and this week uh, there's a bill that would uh, implement changes to school curriculum. In addition to that, the Education Committee finally received the report backs from all of the bills from the last session that they had reports on, so those will be scheduled as well. Appropriations started meeting last week, and they're meeting this week on a few bond areas, and we'll be supporting a bond on R&D investment. In tax, they're going to be talking about ETIF, um, Employment Tax and Grant Financing, the, the review and the report that OPEGA did. They're going to kind of tidy up a little bit of that. And they're also going to talk about the CTAC Capital Tax Credit. They've got some, a couple of public hearings, but we're just going to be monitoring them. So they're just kind of getting off to a good start. So. All right, both the Environment and Natural Resources Committee and the Energy and Utilities Committee are meeting this week. Both are holding work sessions on carryover bills from the previous session. Uh, over in the Natural Resources Committee, they got a couple bills dealing with uh, some EPR, Extended Provider Responsibility uh, carryover bills they dealt with last session, uh, solid waste bill, uh, plastic bottles, and things like that. They'll be meeting uh, a couple days this week, Energy and Utilities meeting a couple days this week. Energy is doing some work sessions on some carryover bills, uh, one being LD13, dealing with microgrids, also dealing with community solar, and there is a report back from the Energy Storage Commission to the committee on Thursday of this week, along with a report back from uh, the Governor's Energy Office, Dan Burgess. So it's going to be a lot going on this week in the committees, but working on a lot of bills from, from last year. And that's what's going to happen in a lot of committees, at least initially, is they're going to be dealing yeah. with their carryovers, labor, uh, has some carryovers that they have yet to schedule for a work session. Insurance and Financial Services has, of course, the Governor's Health Care Bill, LD2007, although they're waiting for some additional information before they proceed with any public hearings on that, to my knowledge. So, I mean, it's a busy time, and we'll be having our policy committees getting together soon, I think, when we mm -hmm. have more printed bills to discuss. But in the meantime, we'll, we will be back next week with the next edition of the Week Ahead. And we hope you'll join us. Thank you. Stay, Stay classy, Maine. <laughs> Linda's jumped the gun. <laughs>